Most people hate loot boxes, right? And most of us love Polish Wittersmith's CD project. Well, today, these worlds collide, and the result is, well, it's just this pure, pure fan service, actually. You're, you're gonna, you're gonna love this. Speaking to PC Gamer this week, CD Projekt CEO Adam Avinsky was asked where he and his team stand on loot boxes. The conversation came against the backdrop of months of controversy started by Star Wars Battlefront 2. PC Gamer asked his thoughts on the conversation between the community and games publishers, to which Avinsky said, quote, conversation sounds way too nice to describe what was happening last year. I would rather call it community backlash. It wasn't just a hardcore community. There were a lot of really pissed off gamers out there and they decided to speak up. As for where CD Projekt themselves stand on the issue of loot boxes, Avinsky said, quote, if you buy a full price game, you should get a big, polished piece of content which gives you many, many hours of fun gameplay. The definition of many may vary on a title by title basis, but in our case, it was always 50 to 60 plus hours of the main storyline with up to a couple of hundred of hours of side activities. To me, this is a fair deal. You get what you paid for, plus we are always trying our best to over deliver. There is no better PR than a happy gamer recommending your title to their friends. Ivinsky also spoke about additional paid content for games, saying CD Projekt have a certain philosophy when it comes to DLC. He said the expansions they've released were meaningful pieces of content delivering many hours of new story and gameplay. He said smaller pieces of DLC should be available for free, as was the case with The Witcher 3. And speaking about how free-to-play games are monetized, and more specifically their own free-to-play card game Gwent, Ivinsky said, again, the deal is simple. You can play the game for free and craft your desired card collections this way or decide to spend money and get card kegs. The choice is yours and the only thing you pay for is time and convenience. Levinsky called for a need for transparency between developers and their player base. He said information about games should be readily available for players so they can make informed decisions about their purchases. Levinsky believes if someone buys a full price game then they should get numerous hours of gameplay and a significant amount of content. Levinsky added, the moment they feel you are reaching out for their wallet in any unfair way they'll be vocal about it and frankly speaking I think it's good for the industry. Things often look great from a spreadsheet perspective, but decision makers often aren't asking themselves the question of how would gamers feel or is this offer a fair one? Gamers are striking back and I really hope this will change our industry for the better. Capping off the interview, PC Gamer asked Davinsky about how they're dealing with all the hype and excitement for Cyberpunk 2077 in the gaming community, to which Davinsky said, it's a huge responsibility and a lot of pressure. We know we need to deliver and we will. So there's an awful lot of quotes there from your favorite games developer CD Projekt Red or the publisher CD Projekt I guess I don't really get it's, it's all one big blob. They've got certain opinions about uh, loot boxes and it's kind of unsurprising to hear what they're saying. This is their angle, this is their thing. They're pro gamers, they're very generous with content, they want to give you a lot of stuff for your money. There's a good reason for that hidden in all the quotes because he said there's nothing better PR wise than people going out there and spreading the word positively about the game among their friends. And that's good, that's what you want, right? That's that's exactly how you'd want people to be doing business. To be good to their customers in hopes that in exchange, the customers will then go out and yeah. do the marketing for you. And of course they do. Which is three, it's not which are three, which are three is better. It's nearly every comment section, like even if it's not about games, I'm pretty sure I saw a video about an omelet once and the comment was about which are three, do you know what I mean? It ain't so, no Geralt. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing. Do you know who would crack an egg? Geralt of Rivia. It's a good story. It's a good result for CD Projekt Red. It's a good result for us. It gives you a little bit more understanding about Cyberpunk 2077. And yeah, if you're assuming that it's going to be a 50, 60 plus hour main storyline game, hundreds of hours of side quests like The Witcher 3, this is pretty much saying that, like, you know, this is what we expect from ourselves and we try to over deliver. So, you know, Cyberpunk 2077 could 60 be. 60 hour story confirmed. Yeah, could be even bigger than The Witcher 3 at this point, to be honest. They want to over deliver. Let's put out there, help them along the way, eh? He does also talk from a position of empathy because he's talking about how the gamers feel in reaction to your game and in reaction to the things that you're doing because he's saying that gamers, they feel like that you're just reaching for their wallet and they're not going to like that. Of course they're not going to like that. That's not a good feeling, right? So that's where they're coming from. They just want, they're just, they are thinking about what their customers would like to see and not how they can make money out of their customers in the most efficient or the most aggressive way and, and the most short term. So their, their whole mindset is, is different and I yeah. think that's what, you know, people should really be taking away from this. What he's saying is loot boxes are bad, we don't like loot boxes, they're not going to be in our games. Our games are going to be great and super and generous, but what, what, 
the big kind of takeaway should really be just the, the mindset is completely different. The philosophy is different. That's what's yeah, cool about it. More than a spreadsheet. They're just looking at yeah. it and thinking, well, the game were actually like this. And I know it sounds silly, but it feels like a lot of games do miss that simple question. Is this fun to play? Exactly. They're like, exactly. we've got the loot boxes. We've got the random generator. We've got our version of FIFA Ultimate Team. No one at any point seems to be asking, but is this a good game though? And this is something that is at the core of CD Projekt Red and beautiful. That's why people love them. Yeah. So that's what CD Projekt has got to say about loot boxes. What have you got to say about loot boxes? Tell us what it is down in the comments. Remember to like the video if you enjoyed it. And please do subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this every single day. There's another video right there, which you can watch right now. And a link to Patreon if you want to support the channel. See you next time.